I bought the number one best-selling product in over 20 different categories on Timu, and in today's video, we're gonna find out if they're actually worth buying. Now, before we get into it, this video is not sponsored by Timu or anybody, and everything I say in this video is 100% my honest opinion, so trust me, if something sucks, I'm gonna say it. However, I do have an affiliate link, so if you do wanna sign up for Timu through my link, you'll actually get a bonus coupon and I think a few other goodies, so if you do wanna sign up for it, feel free to use my link down in the description. And if you do use that link, it'll help me to create more videos like this in the future. And of course, last but not least, buy everything at your own risk. I will have links to all these products as well, but everything you buy on this website, please do your own research, look at reviews, read the descriptions, and pretty much buy everything expecting that you might get scammed because there are a ton of scams and misleading products on this website, which you'll probably see in this video. All right, now that that's all out of the way, let's get on to product number one. All right, so this is the number one best-selling product in security and surveillance. So this right here is essentially a mini Wi-Fi camera according to the ad. Right here it says Our Life Mini IP Camera, Night Vision, HD Recording, Motion Detection, Camera Function, Cloud Storage, and Wide Angle. So this camera was $6.97 for a mini security camera. Let's get this thing unboxed and check it out. All right, so we got the user manual right here. This is Our Life brand, and it says app download user manual. So it looks like you can download the app to record and look at the footage and stuff. So if this is an actual Wi-Fi security camera that you can watch through your phone and record and everything for seven bucks, that's a pretty solid deal. Let's see what else we got in here. This is way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so there's the camera. Okay, let's do a little sticker peel. So first things first, this is made out of, I would say the cheapest plastic I have probably ever felt. I mean, this feels like it weighs barely more than a quarter. So it does have the little lens on the front there. On the side, you have a micro SD card slot. You have a micro USB and then an on and off button. It's actually flashing right now, so it looks like it's somewhat charged. You have what looks like, yeah, so mount right there. So this is a sticky double side tape mount. It's like a one-time use mount, it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna scan this QR code and try to download the app. Also, I really hope I don't get any viruses or something from all this stuff. Please like and subscribe because I'm downloading random apps here. This is actually, oh my, this is rated 1.5 stars. 208 ratings. All right, I'm gonna have to get this figured out. I'll, um, I'll cut to a snippet once I get it figured out, if I do. But let's move on to the next product. All right, next up, we got the number one bestseller in small appliances and accessories. And I'll tell you what, this is definitely a small appliance and you can probably see this. The box is absolutely destroyed. It looks like it's been crushed, like pushed apart and all stuff like that. So this is a like chip bag or a sealing machine for bags, I'm guessing, mostly chip bags. Stick to freezer, so it's magnetic, watertight and airtight and safety buff. It looks like it takes two AA batteries. Okay. I sit in the box. I guess I'm just gonna have to get a bag of chips and just kind of see if this works. It's wiggling around. Like if I just, if I tugged this in one direction, I feel like it would just snap apart in four different pieces. So build quality is terrible, packaging terrible, but we'll see if it works. I have, I have faith in this. I feel like I could seal it up. I see the little like heating elements it looks like. So it just heats it up and seals this small little part in a bag of chips. So we'll have to see if this works. Um, I'll see you in like probably a second. All right, all right, I got a bag of chips. I got the sealer. I see a couple little gaps in there, but let's turn it upside down and see. Yeah. I think if I went through a few more times, I could get this a little better, but that definitely works. I'll give it a thumbs up. So there we go. That is the chip bag sealer thing. Let's move on to the next item. All right, here we go. This is the number one bestseller in camping and hiking. So this is double-sided tape. Now I wanna show you something. I'm gonna show you the actual ad on here. Okay, this is what it shows on the ad <laughs> versus what I got. So either way, yeah. So one piece, four different sizes. I think I got, okay, I got 3.28 feet. So that's probably why there's only 3.2 feet here. But yeah, just some double-sided tape. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Next up, this is the number one bestseller in home decor. And this is actually just a door draft stopper. So let's get this out of here. You can see it's got that double-sided tape right on there to stick to the door, it looks like. About a three foot long door draft stopper. It pretty much worked for most door sizes. This was $4.48. I guess I'll stick it onto one of our doors and see how it looks and how it works, but $4.48 for a door draft stopper. Again, if this is something you're actually in the market for, I don't know if that's a good or bad deal or not, but let's move on. 
All right, next up, this is the number one bestseller in kids electronics. So this is actually a mini printer, I guess. So there's a bunch of rolls of paper. There's like different colored markers, it looks like. And then just this tiny white box. Supposedly this is an actual printer. I'm pretty excited about this one. This can actually print pictures or drawings or something. Let's see, it says inkless printing, long battery life, template printing. That's about all it says. And it just has all these rolls of this tiny like receipt paper on there, it looks like. And this is also $20.98. So definitely one of the pricier items we've seen so far. But let's get this thing out and see what it looks like. Okay, these look a little different. Like different types of paper, it feels like. And portable mini printer, again, those markers. Bluetooth instant printing. I have a feeling this is gonna be like a label printer where it's literally just black and white or something. I don't know, let's get this out. It's like a, a cat, like a, like a mini cat. It's got little ears and everything. Okay. Um, so you got a power button right there. Something right there. Okay, that looks like it opens it up. And there's already a roll of paper in there. Okay, so it looks like there's an app for this as well. I'm gonna have to try to get this figured out and I'm gonna come back to you. I don't wanna waste too much time trying to get this figured out right now. But again, like and subscribe and download another sketchy app. Let's move on to the next thing. And um, I'll again, I'll drop an insert when we get this figured out and show you what I can print with it. Okay, this little printer is pretty neat. But the thing is, this is definitely just a receipt printer. It literally just prints in black and white like this on this, you know, receipt paper pretty much. So <laughs> for some reason they included these Literally just so you can color it in on the paper, I guess. Between these two, you can print a ridiculous amount of stuff. And these actually look like stickers. So you got sticker paper and then just regular receipt paper pretty much. But it works really well. It connects easily to the app and you can print text. You can take pictures of print and stuff like that. So let's actually try printing a picture of the printer with the printer. All right, there you go. I took a picture of the printer. Let's go ahead and print that. Okay, so it turns into black and white, so that's what it'll look like, supposedly. Let's go ahead and hit print. And there it is. So it's definitely not the best resolution or quality or anything like that, but it's pretty neat and it works really well. And I could see a lot of people having fun with this or actually using it for legitimate reasons. So I'm definitely gonna give this a thumbs up. All right, next up, this is the number one bestseller in cases, holsters, and sleeves. Now this one is really straightforward. This is a clear MagSafe case for the iPhone 12. So let's pull this out. It feels pretty light. Definitely feels a little bit on the cheaper side. Get that pulled out and that's it right there. Okay, actually this is kind of a grippy, this is more of a grippy rubber. I thought it was gonna be like a hard plastic. It's definitely grippier than my Apple, my Apple MagSafe case, um, but it, it feels a little lighter and I'm definitely gonna test to make sure the MagSafe actually works because that is kind of one of those, you know, Apple proprietary things. All right, so here we got an iPhone 12. We got the case right here. Snap that on. It actually feels pretty good. It's pretty grippy on the sides. Okay, so this was $1.88. So as long as MagSafe works, for $1.88, if you need a case and you're on that low of a budget or you just want a backup case or something, $1.88 for a working MagSafe case, that's not bad, but let's move on to the next product. All right, next up, this is the number one bestseller in test, measure, and inspect. And this is a gas level indicator for butane and propane. This one looks crazy. So according to, you know, the ad in the pictures, you can just slap this onto like a big propane tank, like for a grill. You can just magnet it to the side and it'll tell you how much propane you have. That's pretty crazy for $2.18 to have, you know, maybe a somewhat accurate representation of how much propane you have. It just has this full, almost empty, time to refill, just this little scale on it. So yeah, that's pretty straightforward, but we'll test this out and see if it works. This could be really handy for, you know, camping, grilling, anything like that, if you have propane or butane. All right, so I got this on my propane here. Now, I'm not sure if this label gets in the way at all because it feels like it doesn't stick super well on here. And it looks like it says this is completely full, which I believe is true, so I don't really have a, you know, perfect way to accurately measure this but it just has a place in the lower half of the container and it just magnets on there. So again, I'm not sure if the label is getting in the way or not because it is kind of wrinkled as well here. But there it is. Let's move on to the next thing. Next up, this is the number one bestseller in headphones, earbuds, and accessories. Now I know what you're thinking that kind of looks like makeup or something. 
Um, this is actually a headphone earbud or like AirPod cleaner. And so this was 88 cents. So another one of the less than a dollar products. It's just in this white plastic tube here. I'm guessing you unthread it. Okay. So it's one of those things you see all over TikTok, those like AirPod cleaning videos using these tools. It's one of those, so there's this little brush here and then like a little pick, I guess, for like getting into the cracks and crevices and speakers and stuff. And I actually have with me some of the fake AirPods from my last video, which you should check that out. It's linked down in the description if you haven't seen it already. I bought a bunch of the cheapest fake Apple products from Timu as well. That was a super awesome video. So yeah, these are from that. Go check that out if you haven't, but let's try to clean these. Now I'm gonna go ahead and not show you a close up of these cause they're a little bit nasty, but I'm just gonna clean them and let you know if it works. So for 88 cents, if you already have some stuff in your car, I feel like if you have AirPods or something, you might as well just add this in your car. 88 cents, it cleans it up better than, you know, better than just using your shirt or something to try to get in there, I don't know, something else. So that's not bad, but either way, let's move on to the next thing. Next up, this is the number one bestseller in tools, organizers, and accessories. So this is a 50 piece drill bit set. Now, honestly, I believe there's 50 in here, but I'm not gonna say this is like not what they sold me because it is a 50 piece drill bit set. I was just expecting a lot bigger sizes. And you know, I just expect a lot more than this. And so this 50 piece drill bit set was $2.57. So it says they're titanium coated drill bits, high quality power tools, 50 piece. It definitely doesn't get big. These are the biggest drill bits. These are the biggest ones in this entire kit. Are these right here? Now I don't know the exact size of these. And you know what? There's five different sizes and then there's 10 of each different size. Not bad, but either way, let's move on to the next thing. Next up, we have the number one bestseller in hunting and tactical. So this right here is a USB rechargeable green laser pointer, and this was $6.64. Now right off the bat, this is actually the opposite of the rest of them. I thought this was gonna be about this big. This is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, so that's pretty cool. This main part here is metal, the rest was plastic, and again, this feels so cheap, but let's press it, see what happens. So it has a little, a little like effect filter on it right there. Okay, so let's take that, that'll be what this is. So let's take that off. That's pretty bright. But I don't know, $6.64, that's not bad. Let's move on to the next thing. Next up, we have the best seller in material handling. Now this is a 300 pound fishing magnet. Now not 300 pounds weight, but 300 pounds in terms of pulling force supposedly. And that's all it is in the box. This one's really simple. Ooh, that's powerful. And this was $7.98 for a fishing magnet. Looks like the eye hook's detachable, which is kind of neat, so you can make a custom attachment if you need to. And this is supposedly 300 pounds of pulling force. There we go, a 300 pound fishing magnet for eight bucks. Let's move on to the next thing. Next up, this is the best seller in lighting and ceiling fans. So this is a motion detection LED light um, for like under cabinets. And this was $3.98. Now this one, as you can see, it's I think it's a four inch LED light and also pretty straightforward. So this is meant for under cabinets, I believe. And it's essentially just a motion light. So if you walk around or you put your hands underneath there or you know, wherever you put it, if it detects motion, it'll turn on for you and then turn off once you leave. So pretty straightforward. And this one, I believe there's multiple different sizes as well. Um, but I just went with the, the smallest option. And then this is also uh, just rechargeable. And it's got this little magnetic adhesive strip so you can put this wherever you want it and then this light will just magnet to it. So four bucks for a motion detection, little rechargeable LED light. That doesn't seem too bad. I mean, this is definitely something if you put it under a cabinet or, um, you know, like, in a hallway, so when you walk by it, when you walk past it, it'll just turn on. It's not too bad. Okay, different color temperatures as well. Yeah, so it's even by color. So you can do a, a cool color right there, warmer, or just right in between. Four dollars, I'm gonna say right now, this seems pretty solid for four bucks. Next up, this is the best seller in lighting. So this is pretty similar to the last one, just a little bit of a different category. This is just lighting. But this is an RGB LED strip. This is the shortest one I've ever seen, I think. Let me double check the specs on this. Now this was $2.88, and this is supposedly a one meter LED strip. So let's see, so that's about a little over three feet. Okay, so we got the roll off there. Got the remote here so we can change the colors and stuff like usual. And this one is just USB. So it just plugs into USB port, which is actually pretty simple. These LEDs are really spread apart. Usually they're at least twice as close as this. As you can see here, there's one there, one there, one there. So they're every 
couple inches apart. So if they're visible, it's probably not gonna look good because they'll be so spaced apart. But if it's, you know, behind your TV, behind a computer, something like that, and you just kind of have it, you know, shining off a wall or something like that where the LEDs themselves aren't visible, maybe I could see that working, but there's only one way to find out. Let's test this out right now. It's definitely not very bright. Um, but this was $2.88. So for three feet, I don't know, let's make sure this works. But again, you know, all this is stuff that you're probably gonna buy if you need it, not just for the heck of it. I mean, it works. It's, it works like a normal LED strip. So a USB LED strip for less than three bucks. That's not bad, but I mean, yeah. You can see this thing, it feels pretty cheap. It's the most flimsy one I've felt. Let me just check the double side tape because sometimes that's a pretty big weakness of these. I will also update you once I get this actually in a location and you know, we'll see what it looks like, but let's move on to the next thing. So these definitely aren't the brightest lights. And like I said, they're pretty spread apart and honestly they work. I just don't really know if I recommend them. I mean, it's definitely just the worst LED strip I've ever used. You know, it, it works, it just sucks. Next up, this is the number one bestseller in adhesives and sealants. And so this is a white PVC sealing strip. And so it looks like you pretty much can use this um, as a replacement for caulk in like, you know, in corners or like where a bathtub meets a wall or tile or something like that. And this was $1.88 and you get 3.2 meters. So right around 10 feet. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, if I even have a use for it, but $1.88, this is a bestseller in this category. Let's move on to the next thing. Next up, this is the best seller in audio and radio. So this is a Bluetooth speaker and this is pretty much just a knockoff of the JBL. I don't know the exact name of it, but you probably know what I'm talking about, the JBL cylinder speaker. Now this is another great example. It might just be me, but on the pictures, this looked almost twice as long, like almost twice as big as this. This is fairly small, you know, compared to my hand here. It's a fairly small speaker, but let's get this out. So this is essentially just a Bluetooth rechargeable waterproof speaker essentially. Okay, so it looks like micro USB. You know, I feel like I've been seeing a lot of micro USB. I really would like to see everything USB-C, but hopefully, hopefully soon everything will be. I just hate micro USB ports. The other right here, this is a blue one. There's a bunch of different colors you can choose from. So this was $12.39. And look at that, it's even got that knockoff JBL logo. This is the most knockoff JBL speaker I've seen, but we got the manual right here and that's it for in the box. It's got this strap on here. It, it's made out of plastic, but it doesn't really feel terrible, I'd say. This really feels decent. You know, the whole thing's pretty much mesh besides a couple buttons in the back and this is supposedly waterproof like the real ones are. I don't know if I believe that either. But let's try to get this turned on here. <laughs> 1200 milliamp hour battery, normal volume playing time about three to four hours. It has two five watt speakers, three to four hour charging time, wireless working distance is 10 meters. Yep, it has an FM function, so it can search radio station broadcast automatically. All right, there we go, let's see it. Let's see the quality of this. Now this is actually gonna be easier to tell the quality for you, you know, than the headphones were in my last video because you can actually kind of hear it, but let's get, let's get a song playing here. Hey, everybody, I can like to know you. There is zero bass at all. Um, it's really compressed. It's listenable. Maybe a podcast. I think like voice as a podcast might be a little easier to listen to the music. This one's tough. Is it worth twelve dollars? If this, if you want to buy this as your only speaker, no, do I wouldn't buy this as your only Bluetooth speaker. However, if you have a good quality Bluetooth speaker and you want this as a backup. Something just to toss around with you, it's pretty small. I think this could be worth $12, but it really just doesn't sound that good. But either way, let's move on. Next up, the number one bestseller in 3D printers and accessories. Now this one I am pumped about. This is supposedly a 3D printing pen. And so this was $12.98. Now you've probably seen these 3D printing pens before. I know they used to be pretty popular. Here we go. And this comes with a bunch of filament as well. Actually, that comes with a bunch of different colors of filament. And this is the pen right here. I'm excited for this one. I've actually always wanted to get a 3D printer. And even these 3D printed pens look pretty neat. And I believe this is USB rechargeable as well or battery powered or something. But I might have to come back once I actually figure out how to use this. It comes with 10 different colored filaments and the 3D pen for less than 13 bucks. 
So if it works, this one's pretty cool just to mess around with, even just as a toy, you know? Obviously, I'm not expecting it to be perfect or to work super well. It feels pretty cheap quality, but we'll check it out and see. Okay, this 3D printer pen is awesome. This is 100% worth the money. You even get all these different colored filaments with it. And I've just been messing around with it. I'm no artist or anything, so these are kind of terrible. But, I mean, you can build like legitimate 3D structures with this if you have patience and if you do it right. But I've just been messing around with it. I haven't really done too much with it. But there isn't any batteries in it, so it has to be plugged in through the USB. So I've just been using a portable power bank like this so I can really just bring it wherever I want with me. And then the filament just goes right into the back of the pen there. There's a forward and backward button. So forward is of course to, you know, bring it out here to 3D print stuff. And the back button is just to remove the filament to put a different color in. So you can see right there, it's just a fixed speed. And then you just, you know, print it out. You can do multiple layers. This is the number one bestseller in safety and security. Now you probably recognize something similar to this. This is almost the exact same thing it honestly might be the same thing to the other camera we unboxed in security and surveillance. Almost the same categories. This one where it's gonna fly through um, because again, that's gotta be made in the same factory. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. But this one comes with a 64 gigabyte SD card. The other one didn't. This was actually cheaper than the other one. This was $4.08. And this one comes with a 64 gig SD card. The other one didn't, so. Maybe you get this one, but they're both the best sellers in their own categories. But yeah, so I'm gonna kind of probably just test these at the same time. Okay, so for these little security cameras, um, both of them that are pretty much the same, I actually noticed that the $4 cheaper camera actually works better than the more expensive one. And it comes with a free SD card as well. So this is the more expensive one, and I couldn't actually get this to connect to my Wi-Fi to use not tethered to the camera. However, I could connect my phone directly to the camera and see you know, wirelessly what this saw. But in order for that to work, I have to be in range of this Wi-Fi, you know, between these two devices, which for security camera isn't really that super useful. But the reason the other camera actually isn't here right now is because I have it set up and it's working right now, it's on the Wi-Fi. So I can essentially have my phone with this app anywhere in the world, hypothetically, and still be able to see this live feed. So this is live right now. I just have it set up in my backyard there. And I'm not gonna lie, for $4, this is pretty crazy. Just to have this ability, now, there is some recording features and some other things that are really terrible. I mean, the recording looks like it only works when the app is open on the screen. So I can't just record, you know, everything and have it on repeat or anything like that. I can't get that figured out. I know there are some features that if I looked into more, I'm sure I could figure them out. But just having this live feed that I can see from anywhere. And then also it does have infrared lights built in. So it does have some form of night vision and actually it's, it's pretty decent. But all of that for $4, is pretty unbelievable. This is the number one bestseller in hand tools. So this is a universal socket and it was $3.77. So it says a two piece, but it comes with just this pretty much adapter. Um, so you can put this in a drill. And so essentially what this does is instead of being a standard size, like let's say, you know, a 14 millimeter, 16 millimeter socket, this has all of these retractable little rods in it so it can almost mimic any shape. I don't know if you've ever seen those hand things. And it's all those little pointy things. You put your hand in it and it mimics your hand exactly because there, there's so many of them in such a small space. That's what this does. So no matter what size or what shape your stuff is, let's say I want to pull this out, which is this, this little square. It should hypothetically mimic it. Yeah, and so it's turning it. It's grabbing on and it's turning it, even though it's you know not meant for any specific shape or anything. These are pretty neat. I've never actually had one of these, but I feel like for a lot of weird shaped things that you wanna to try to unscrew, but you can't do it with your fingers. And so this was $3.77. Honestly, you know, if you, if you use sockets and stuff like that, I feel like this is just a good addition to have in the kit, just in case, just in case for less than four bucks between seven millimeters and 19 millimeters. So anything in between those, it should hypothetically work with. That's pretty cool. All right, so I need to pull this hook out right here and I can kind of get it with my fingers here, but I think this is a perfect test to actually try to use this universal socket for. All right, so I got it here on my drill and it actually, it just fits on there and kind of grabs onto it. And look at that. There we go. Let's move on to the next thing. Next up, this is the number one bestseller in sports and outdoor play. 
So this is pretty simple. This is like something you get from a dollar store. This is just a quick water balloon filler thing. Right here, magic water balloons, 111 water balloons per minute. So let's say you could just connect these to your hose and they'll fill all of them up at once. This was $1.58 and it's a three pack. Again, I'll have to test these out and see if they actually work, but $1.58 doesn't seem bad. This is pretty much just a dollar store item anyway, so it's probably not much cheaper here than it would be anywhere else, but here we go. Move on to the next thing. This is the number one bestseller in power tools. You can see this thing is tiny. This is a 105 degree angle head for a drill. So essentially it's like a universal joint, but it's just fixed at 105 degrees. So you attach your drill to one end and this is coming out at a totally different angle. It feels pretty cheap. There's a bunch of play in it, but I would expect this to at least work, you know, for a while. I mean, I bet you can get some good use out of this. And this was 298. Next up, the number one bestseller in kitchen storage and organization. So this is a microwave splash guard. So essentially just this collapsible rubber microwave cover. If you have a bowl or a plate and you're warming up in the microwave, you know how stuff always splatters all over your microwave and gets everywhere. This essentially, uh, let me try to find an example here. All right, so let's say microwave in this right here. Put that in the microwave on the turntable. Put this over top, microwave it. You know, it's still a lot of air to escape there but stuff won't spray all over your microwave. So again, pretty straightforward, but let's move on to the next thing. This is the number one bestseller in novelty and gag toys. Now, honestly, I don't know why this is in that category. And also I don't know why it's beat up so bad. Trust me, I did not do this. This was from shipping or something. But this is essentially just a digital money jar. So let's get this out. Obviously, you know what this is. So it's pretty straightforward. Just count your coins for you so you can keep track of them. And it's just in this plastic, plastic little jar here. Oh, oh, a little mini screwdriver. I actually probably use that for other stuff. All right, so this needs two AAAs. Again, I'm actually gonna utilize this one and I'll, uh, you know, just let you know, I'll update you once I get it going. I mean, this one's really straightforward as well. I'm sure it works and it's just a money counter. So I don't wanna bore you too much. Let's move on to the next thing. This is the best seller in home storage and organization. Another really straightforward one. This is a quilt storage bag. So I think it's for like under the bed or, you know, somewhere on the floor, just storage. Let's get this one open up. So this was $3.18. And it's just this fabric bag with a little clear, clear side on it. Where, oh, there's the zipper. Now I will say quality, this feels, this feels pretty rough. This is pretty cheap. Oh my gosh, this zipper. That's a pretty good size storage bag. The zipper probably won't last long, but if you have stuff you just wanna store for a long time, you don't plan on getting it out, zipping it open and close and moving it around all the time, I bet this could work for you. It's actually not bad at all for three bucks. So I've actually been storing all of the other Timu products and stuff in here, and it's actually been holding up pretty well. I've carted this around in the car a few times, zipped it open and closed probably about 10 times by now, and it's held up really well. The handles hold up. You know, there's probably no more than 10 pounds in here, but I'm still, I'm surprised it hasn't just torn anywhere yet, especially the zippers. So I'd say if you're just putting stuff in here to store under your bed or in a closet, this is definitely a good organization piece that you could pick up on there for really cheap. You can get a couple of these and store some stuff pretty well. But that's it for this. Let's move on to the last item. This one I'm pretty pumped for, so let's check it out. Last but not least, this is the number one bestseller in hardware. So this is supposedly a zoomable flashlight now this is something I've been seeing on the app since I downloaded it. I feel like this is one of the most popular items on the app because I've been seeing this everywhere. So I finally decided to check it out. So this is it right here. Okay, this is definitely plastic from the ad. Again, I'll, I'll, link, I'll link this down in the description or maybe I'll show some screenshots. I was under the impression this was made out of metal. This is really, really, really cheap plastic. So this was $2.58 and that is actually way brighter than I thought it was gonna be. So it's micro USB rechargeable. Again, I would like to see USB-C, but I guess micro USB is fine, but it is rechargeable, which is nice. So it looks like a darker mode, a flash mode, and that's it. So three modes. Again, I don't know what the battery's at. I'm gonna fully charge this and then test it out at night. So I'm gonna cut to that in just a second here. For less than $3, I was expecting it to be metal. I'm not 
surprised that it's not. But again, let's cut to an actual test of this flashlight. But there we go, that wraps up the number one best-selling products in over 20 different categories on Timu. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I actually have a couple more packages coming already and there's some awesome stuff in those. You are not gonna to wanna to miss those, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned for those as well. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.